Hey guys, welcome back to some more Dan Duel commentary. So today we have Slate. Yeah, I've been waiting to do this series with him for a while. It's like one of my favorite series on his channel. I hate this series. <laughs> I love this series. No. I watch every episode. No. I watch every episode. Well, so we gonna... have an ice hand. That could be a lot. That is a hat. So we have a scar Scarlerman. What the fucking name? Scarlet Whoa. Menace. I... I guess it would be Scholar Menace, I guess. Scholar Menace 2. Yep. Yeah. Wait, this uh, is a fun deck, so. LOL. Okay. <laughs> and go ahead and say his name, the other, his opponent. Uh, Andres Fierro. <laughs> <laughs> Andres Fierro. <laughs> <Bad before. laughs> Andres, it's, it's at the, uh, you put the accent on the uh, second syllable, and then uh, Fierro, you have to roll your R's. Uh, uh, so. uh, 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 <laughs> fuck you, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my god, he, uh, he is going so, off with his, uh, his, I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he is going. Super nimble mega hamster, that's a... So what are you going to do, kamikaze? Float for float, yeah. Yeah, float for float. Battle step? Battle step. Oh, he's, he's playing Nordix? <laughs> Oh. Lag, okay. Battle step. <laughs> well, that's 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 the correct term. I've just never heard somebody say that. Uh -uh. So I guess they just mean before the damp, like before the uh, monsters would go to the graveyard. Would it be an attack like declaration? Is that it? Uh, the battle phase is confusing, but it would be after declaration. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. So that was pretty the smart new... play. He's like, I'm gonna pop an ice hand. Like, no, you not. The uh, can, that guy can be played well, I mean, very. It, it would be just as good as be. It would be just as good if he did it as that declaration. But you know, can this guy be summoned the, during uh, the damage step? Who? Oh, it's destroyed by battle. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, um, the new the new starter deck, which I of course uh you know opened on my channel and stuff. Uh, it came with the rulebook, so I read the rulebook, <laughs> so I know a little bit more about Yu-Gi-Oh now. <laughs> oh, no, okay. <laughs> yeah. Does MST negate? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you haven't seen, <laughs> if you haven't seen, MST negates. Well, what does it negate? Lance, forbidden Lance. <laughs> right. In our in our last uh, daily duels, slaying with slate, we did a MST negate. Whoa, vanilla heroes. A hero hand. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I can't eat them. But but I don't even I don't even understand why there would be like even in a hero hand deck you'd never play play man you'd play wild heart. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, unless he wants to make, what, Ram Rampart Blaster? Is that the good one? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's hard to summon. I remember from the, uh, from the anime. Oh, uh, what is this? Fucking kind of Electromode TK? That's, uh, well, Clayman isn't, Clayman isn't a, a material for Electrum, I don't think, so. He isn't? I thought it was, I thought it was all four of the... Nah, <laughs> Avion, uh, maybe it is Clayman. Yeah, I think it's all four of them. Well, I know one of them is Bubble Man, and that's not a vanilla, but is it? It's Avion and, and Burstinatrix, and Bubble Man, and I guess it is Clay Man, so. Yeah. No, it's not. It's Spark Man. That's what it is. It is? There's no. There's no. Yeah, I'm positive. There's no Clay Man. Oh, okay. Sure. I, I don't know anything about Electrum OTK. I just know I, I was playing Electrum OTK just bull? the other day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear to God. Um, all right, we should probably be commentating with Bill here. There's nothing to <laughs> commentate. What do you get back? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. What do you get? Firehand? Duality, duality didn't set two. He grabs. I don't even know. Fuck. That... <laughs> yeah, this, is the, this is the reason why I don't focus. Buy, you, you're not going to be invited back to one of these again if you don't pay attention. <laughs> All right. You weren't paying attention either. I'm, I, I'm not going to invite what you back. What the hell? What the, uh, shit. You act like this is my fucking video or something. Oh. <laughs> not my job to pay attention. <laughs> Sounds pony. Is he going to go ahead and synchro summon into something? Is he finally going to go into this buff monster? Is he going to black rose the field? Oh. Sorry. I didn't even count those numbers. <laughs> Ooh, Stardust. That will protect you from a bootomless. Oh, what? You're so OCD that you want to be in the middle? Really? 
Can't you can't you not move cards in Yu-Gi-Oh because there's some cards that say the zone so they can't be moved? Yeah, yeah, you can't move. You can't. You're not supposed to. I mean, if if you have like three trap cards set and you activate the middle one, a lot of people will move the two together. But I don't know. No. Um, there there is a really good card uh in artifacts. It's um, I forget what it's called, like blasting the fuse or something. But basically, you destroy every card in the uh in the column that blasting. Or I think it's called blasting the fuse. But it's in every card in the column that blasting the fuse is in. So uh, uh you can destroy your artifact and stuff. So, but if your opponent moves their shit, then can you call game loss? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not there. Game loss? It's like that drastic drop off game loss all the freaking time. That that was that was funny. That was a good time. Good time. So like, you know, you, you do against people in real life, and they like to masturbate with their hand and shuffle it around. So they'll draw their card <laughs> and then they'll shuffle it around, thinking, and you go drastic drop off, and you don't know what card they drew, so you just be like game loss. <laughs> 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 and then we keep on getting people with that too you can get them in the same damn match because they'll never know when you have it <laughs> like yeah drop break. off dirty what does thor do i don't even know what thor does what does thor do what is it once per turn you can negate the effects of all face amongst monsters your opponent control currently controls to the end phase during the end phase if this face of party controlled was destroyed by a opponent's card and sent to your graveyard excuse me god uh you can ban it one Nordic Beast, Tutor Monster from your graveyard, special summon this. What? And then inflict 800 damage? That, that card's amazing. Oh my god. Jeez. And 3 5 attack. That's nothing to scoff at. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. I've never seen somebody summon him before. Oh shit. I always thought Nordics were really bad. They're just hard to get out. And aren't they getting some new cards and 5Ds? They're getting. Them? They have. Uh, yeah, they haven't been. Uh, they have their effects haven't been confirmed yet, but yes. Oh wow, that was short. Wow, that was short. Wait. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Add the card. What? Oh, what? He wants to see it. Can I see the OTK combo? Or we should, it's are we electrum. gonna stay in office? No, it's not electrum. Then what the fuck is it? What Let's see. Maybe it is. Maybe it is electrum. Maybe he's just like. Playing Clayman for some reason. Oh yeah, it's oh it's, it's it's okay. It's some sort of chain material thing. Okay, that's Electrum. Well, there are other ones, but Electrum is oh well, there's Fusion Gate. I know with Clayman. Uh, uh, okay, apparently we'll see. We got this big old yeah, dual over yeah, the screen. Ele Electrum is is Sparkman, Avion, Bubble Man, and First Intrix, so. so so why Clayman? Let's see. Okay, yep. We can, oh, it's a burn loop. That's the that's, that's okay. Okay, uh, right. Electrum mm -hmm. is Electrum Electrum is a burn loop. All right, so we got a fire hand. What is this happening? Oh, that card. Yeah. I don't see why he played Clayman though. For the Earth, I guess. <laughs> but why wouldn't you play uh, Wildheart? I guess he wants a nice big old booty. Chain Material Fusion Gate can open up tons of loops, so. Yep. This isn't really a loop, though, is it? Like. I guess he's supposed to summon three of them and then burn you to death, I guess. I don't know. I yeah, couldn't read the effect would, of that card. It, I wouldn't call that a loop. That card's actually. That card's not, like, old. Or, that card's not old. Um, it, it came out like in the last like five sets. I just want to see. I can't even read what the fuck it does because I can't click on it. Oh wow! So he's playing Electrum. Yeah, so it's Electrum so and it is, that. Okay. Yeah. So so it, so it is an interim because Electrum shuffles stuff back. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. I want to I want to figure out when that guy came out though because I know he's not like an old fusion. So. That's, uh, I want to read that. I want to read what it does. Cool like, over. No dual over. Dual over. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Oh, well, we can get one more in this video. We're back. Okay, we're back and we found another duel. So we're gonna yeah. DN went down for like a couple minutes and then got back on. But I definitely want to see this. So uh, it's not too yeah. deep in, but I definitely wanted to go ahead and just see. Did he just draw? He added for uh, Deneb. 
Oh, okay. It looked like he drew. <laughs> the animation. This is well. He shoveled his hand right after. This oh, is okay. the um. This is the Stellar Night mirror. Yep. Right. Yep. Because I want to see what other. Right. Of course, you guys know that I want to mix Stella, so I want to go ahead and see what other people are doing with it. So we have Yons here with a uh, twelve six. I mean, tw yeah, twelve sixty six and Resonance X I X. Was that nineteen? Yeah, nineteen. It was eleven thirty two. Okay. Um. So he got bottomless. Damn. I mean, so we have Altair. Yep. Uh, tear to Deneb. I thought you can only use Deneb's uh, effect once per turn. Yeah, tell him that you can't. You can't do that again. Yeah, you can't do that again. You can only use the effect of Deneb once per turn. So, judge, judge. Yeah. Judge. No. <laughs> judge. Wait, shouldn't you like? Shouldn't you tell him? How? What? Type yeah. it in. Type it in the watchers. I'm not gonna message him. You message him. I have messaged him. Let's see if he responds. He'll probably just ignore it. Probably. He'll probably be like, noob, you don't know. You don't know. I can search her every single time. I can summon an ebb and search. And then... Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Altair has to summon in defense mode, too. Seriously, so. you're just fucking up. You have one job. Alright, I'm going to type in the watchers, too. Yeah. Seriously, no search. Like, you know Maybe I should text. Oh, I should tell his opponent. Okay. Yeah, tell his opponent. You know that he searched with Deneb right. twice this turn, right? Like, yeah. I'm like, come on. Ooh, okay. So I guess he's gonna pick shit out of his graveyard. Yeah, he searched for another Altair, which he can't do. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't care, or maybe he didn't add with an at first. At first, like, no, oh, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. You're both bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, summoning with Altair in attack mode. How smart is that? Uh, I pretty much know the entire deck now because I did like a full analysis of the of the uh, the effects. Oh, what happened was, um, Jan. Okay, he just he just told me in the private chat. Yanez um, called the haunted his uh, Deneb during the end phase of oh, Resonance X Max okay. turn. Yeah, and then he took his. So so he did draw. So you're right. He did draw. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That so remember at the beginning of the video when you asked if he, if he drew? Yeah. Okay. So he, he did draw. Okay. I was like, wait, did you just like call the haunted summon that search then draw? Like, wait, what? Nah, I got, right, so I got we, got, we got a Vega into Altair and then an attack. Yeah. Because there's no Altair targets left in the graveyard nope. because of, of Rhapsody and Berserk. I hope both of them do that. That's fucked up. I bet he really wanted that. He can't even go into his boss monster right now. Yeah, well, there are plenty of rank 4 monsters he could be going into right now. He should go into Rhapsody and rip his shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Rhapsody is really good. Uh, wasn't he? Was he? Was he rare? No, I think he's common. He's common. That's I think even so. better. Yeah, look like what he's like. What thirty cents right now? Yep. Look at that. Like, oh yeah, I'll show you. It's a. It's a. I don't like how they made it. You can only use the effect of Rhapsody and Berserk twice per turn. Like, why would they say that? Like, in case you equip some more materials on them. So? <laughs> Seriously. I don't know. Kami's weird. If you're, if you're using cards to equip, like, materials for Rhapsody and Berserk, good for you. Banish stuff from your opponent's graveyard. I don't I don't like that. I don't know. I don't I don't think it's as cool. Is there, like, some, like, infinite rank 4 loop that I'm not that I'm not familiar with? No. We would have heard of it by now. Yeah, I guess. But there makes... Well, I'm just trying to think. Is there, like, a... Oh, well, I guess Diamond Dire Wolf. You can loop, you can loop that pretty much... In Infernities. <laughs> so. Shit. Infernities can just die. Uh, didn't we that. talk about that in a video or something? Yeah. Or did we just talk about that personally? I don't know. I think we. I don't know. Yeah. Don't you, everybody. Everybody and their mother knows how I feel about Infernity, so don't. Yeah, we talked about that two daily duels ago. I remember now. We talked about Infernities because we we're talking about uh, 
spiritualism, and then you uh, made yeah, a video on yeah, spiritualism. Yeah, so we did talk about it. Right, so yeah, Altair attacks over the Rhapsody and Berserker. Still. Resonance is looking at his extra deck, so I assume that he has some sort of rank 4 play this turn. Hopefully. I'm talking to the viewers, dude. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> What are you, fucking announcer? Just sitting there? Fucking... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, you're taking this shit too seriously. Unleash, <laughs> unleash your inner sportscaster. That's what I try to do when I do these things, right? Shit. Shit. Do not get... Shit. I do Dragon Ball Z League videos. Do not give me that shit. <laughs> so we have an Altair uh, on both sides of the field now. Ooh. Ooh. Vanity's emptiness with the TCG artwork. <laughs> <laughs> We've got... You have to yeah. cover him up. Because, you know, putting... Putting a body behind that white she was totally inappropriate kid for American kid, American children. <laughs> she uh, looks naked. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, kamikaze? Watch him have the honest. Fucking yu yo I don't know, yeah. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> if he does point for point if he does point for point here, the uh, the vanity's emptiness will of course go away. Yeah. So if that uh, uh hmm. Wasn't a bad play. Stop yeah, them from was... stop them from summoning something stronger than his own Altair, and then, you know. Do you know if we're in crash. game one or not? What? Do you know if we're in game one right now? I think we're in game one, and I think we're only doing one game. Uh, okay. Oh, chain, nice. He chained it. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm still debating on whether that card is good or not. I think that I think it's a great card because right now what he can do is he can go into one with more attack and then just run over the yep see he can just bring out the the you the ukulele <laughs> I forget <laughs> who called it that one uh, some YouTuber called him ukulele I thought that was hilarious uh, so yeah he can uh, essentially tag out the Altair for a ukulele and uh, would he not get the ukulele's effect or did he use it already? he did he did he sent uh, Deneb didn't he uh, yeah he did you're right that was a really good play that was a good play. Yeah, Vanity's Emptiness is a, a pretty good floodgate, this format, especially against decks like Teller Knights, because they can't do anything without special summoning. Yeah. I just Teller Knights are having a really struggle a match against Shadal. Now, at least they got that nice little trap card. I forgot what it was called. The one where the, the... Yeah, the trap card negates monster effects and no, spells no, no, and traps. No, 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 no. Not... It's like this trap card where if your opponent attacks a warrior monster, you, like, burn them for the damage and bounce the card. That's not a Stellar Knight card. <laughs> I know it's not a Stellar Knight card, but that's what they've been running for the match against Shadal, for, against Shadals. It's like a well, magical I, cylinder. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. Mega Capital G talked you, about it. Are you talking about memory of an adversary? No. <sighs> that's kind of bug me. I'm going to figure out I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to go figure it out. Be right back. Oh. Battle Guard okay. Howling. Alright. Oh, um, Paladin. We need to pause the video. You can you can pause the video. My problem what? with Pilot Diamondo is that if you go like Altair into and summon something to make Pilot Wait. Diamondo, you can't attack with it. Did you said you pause the video or not? Yeah, I did. Why don't you play it? Play what? The video. What video? Start recording again. I did. Oh, you're recording? Yes. Oh hi. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so confused. I paused it to look up the name of that card, and then when I found the name of the card, I went back to the, to the game, okay. and I unpaused it, and I said the name of the card, which I already forgot. Yeah, I mean, it, yep, we have, we, okay, Battle we guard, established that I'm stupid. Yeah, Battle Guard Howling. It's a warrior card, right? It has yeah. to do with warriors? Yeah. Can you read it? No, I can't read it. I can give you pretty much if your opponent would tackle warrior, you burn them for the monster, like burn them like life point wise for the the damage that you take, and then you get to bounce a monster, a compulse monster. So it's like magical cylinder, and compulse combined. So you know you have a warrior because your deck is all warriors. They try to attack you because they're just gonna sit there on uh, on uh, mid rash and troll the hell out of you. They're gonna try to come after you mid rash, and you can just oh, burn the them and then card bounce card. it. Yeah. Did did that just come out? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. Um, wasn't the, it in the anime, what, the, the first episode? Of Art it was. Uh, the, the other card that was in the anime, the first episode, that has to do with Battle Guards, is uh, Feast of the Wild, level 5, or something like that. It has some, you know, some sort of level 5. It might have got its name changed. Uh, but 
it is played in uh, the UA deck. So I think I think that's pretty cool. Oh, perfect that. Perfect that's yeah. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> okay. All right, so are we going to see the Stellar Knight XZ's monster here? Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. We're gonna see one on one. Uh huh. He can't attack anyway. Yeah. Well, the the one on one can. He can. He can oh, you soul charge. Never mind. Yep. You soul charge and Altair's effect, which is a pretty good combo. You know, because yeah. Altair normally restricts attacks. So. Yep. So that's one less thousand that you have to pay. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Uh, it's a pretty good play that I will never, ever, ever, ever do. <laughs> Did you notice that all of the uh, the Stellar Knights are hula hooping? They are? Every single Stellar Knight is hula hooping, yes. Oh. What is that supposed to be, like a like a ring? Like the hula hoop, what do you mean? <laughs> is it literally a hula hoop? Like, is that really what it's supposed to be? I don't think I, that I don't card know. is so good to tell us. Like, I'm definitely gonna consider playing that. We're returning alive. Yeah, uh -huh. you can get whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah, way better than freaking. It basically, it, it uh, I talked about this. Oh my gosh, I talked about this in a video that I made for somebody else's channel. Uh, but I talked about the word returning alive and how um, there's this new uh Stellar Knight coming out, right? It's its effect is uh oh, when it's summoned. What? Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, oh yeah, you did a video on him too, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, no, that's yeah, what I'm saying. So I'm like, unless you're playing the Satellite Knight spells, there's really no point. You can't even give grab back the counter trap because its name is not a uh, Satellite Knight. Satella is like what? Stella Nova. Stellar Nova Alpha. It's yeah. Like, Nova Alpha. Fuck. Why? I can't even grab yeah, back so the counter trap. Like, I'd rather just use Will You Return Life and not have to waste my normal summon. Yeah, I was, I was, I, I talked about the same thing in the video that I made that uh, Will You Return Live is a better option. It's not on my channel though. I made a video for somebody else's channel. All right, so we've seen Altair. Exiton. Exiton. Bring back Vega. That'll that'll get another special summon. Oh, okay. I thought he was just gonna go into Exiton. I don't know if he plans on using the Vega's effect. Then he's gonna be able to get another special summon on. Yeah, are you using the Vega effect? Nope. I guess not. I heard you like one one. Yeah, I guess one one will live. That that's kind of, that kind of sucks. He has to special summon the. Uh, yeah. Exiton here, and then I could just get attacked over, I guess. Mm. Unless he still has more advantage, because then he can just blow up the field again. He will, because he's going to draw a card, so he'll have the Exiton and then four more cards, while he'll have one, two, three. Nice. <sighs> Whoa, wait. Wait a second. What? He'll blow up the field. He'll still be down in advantage, so we can just do it twice in a row. Oh, yeah, that is true. He even before he draws a card. Oh, he's going black ship. Okay, that's a, that's actually a pretty good choice. Yeah, just go ahead and set him a one on one. That works. Yeah, that totally thousand. works. That works. That burn. That ass. Speaking of burn, Stellar Knights have a card called what Al Sam that can do a thousand. Mm-hmm. And that essentially reduces the cowboy limit, uh, from eight hundred to uh eighteen hundred. Yeah. Or I guess it increases the cowboy. So, yeah, uh, so because you, would you go Altair summon him, burn for a thousand, make a cowboy, bang bang, skeet skeet, skeet jeans. <laughs> yeah. Like damn. <laughs> what do you think about the counter trap? Which one? The, oh, the, the 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 Stellar Nova Alpha. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I think it's really good. <laughs> How many would you run? Um, two. Two. Yeah, cause uh, I mean, I guess I guess mobs, like getting monsters on board probably isn't that hard. Uh, but what you're probably going to want to do most of the time is bring out your XEs. Uh, but then again, you also use Altera a lot to special summon from the graveyard. And if you do do that, that you know you can't attack except with Stellar Knights, so maybe you won't be making XEs in that case. Uh, I haven't tested with the deck enough. I have a build of uh, Shadow Stellar Knights in on DN. Uh, I've been playing around with that a little bit, but I haven't tested it enough to. It's BLS you know, in there. Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't? What's the point? <laughs> um, let me think. I was just gonna say. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So what you could do is you could um. You I'm, could. Yeah, I'm debating. Altair. Me. You could Altair into whatever you need, right? And then uh. Stellar Nova. Stellar Nova. What's the not not what not Stellar Knight? What's it called? Starcross Stellar Knights or something like that. Mm-hmm. Stellar Knight Skybridge? Is, Sky that, is that what it got a same thing to? Yeah, Skybridge. So yeah. You could Altair into whatever Stellar Knight you want, right? And then you could Skybridge uh, the Altair. 
and then you can bring out the Alsam, and then you can burn for a thousand, and then automatically overlay into Cowboy, and that, that's a one card. You know, that's a one card eighteen hundred, so two card eighteen hundred burn. You only have to have one monster. Yeah, I was debating on whether to play the trap, the counter trap or not. I was just worried about the consistency of having Satellas on the field because last thing I want to do is draw into a whole bunch of the trap cards yeah. and not having Satellas and it'd be dead. So it's I a really, str it's a really strong card. But I mean, if we're comparing it to you know other decks that have solemn judgment cards, like Infernities, even when uh, Barrier was at three, they only ran two. Uh, if you've got like Gravekeepers, Gravekeepers only run two Imperial Tomb normally. Uh, because their their restriction is even harder. They have to have a Gravekeeper face up and Necro Valley, uh, albeit Necro Valley is searchable in like seven different ways in that deck. But uh, you know, what are some other are there are there any other Solemn Judgment cards? Herald, there's, I guess. There's a lot of them, but I get your point. So yeah, I'd probably go with yeah, two because three seems cloggy, but two seems like it would work. Yeah, because like pretty much every deck in the past that's had a Solemn Judgment card has run two of that Solemn Judgment card. So. And I'm, uh, I haven't talked about Skybridge yet. On wh what? Oh, he put it back. What's yeah. I was say, why the fuck do you run two? <laughs> I forgot he put it back. Um, if uh, I haven't talked about Skybridge yet on the card review yet, card destruction, but I'm not too big of a fan of it right now. What card? The Skybridge. Sky yeah. I love it. I just don't like that I shuffle the damn monster back. I don't like that. <laughs> but think about it this way. Think about it this way. When you summon a, a, a Stellar Knight, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to be getting a plus off of that. All right? Then you activate a card. What do you mean back summoning a Stellar Knight? What do you mean? They don't always plus. You, yeah, they do. No, I don't. Which, okay. If you the summon one of the good Stellar Knights. The if you summon one of the good Stellar What do you mean? Oh... <laughs> The, Dead what? Eye and Altair are the good Stellar yeah. Knights. Okay. Dead Eye and Altair are the good Stellar Knights. They plus, okay? Okay. So if you summon Dead Eye or Altair, all right, you'll get a plus off of that. All right, so at that point, you're plus one. Then you activate a card, making you even. Then you shuffle back into the deck, making you minus one. Then you summon a monster, making you uh, even again. And then you uh, get another plus from that monster's effect. So, so it's so a plus what, one. So what do you do? Altair until what? Deneb, Deneb, search. It I just opens up. It's just, it's just options. It's just options. Like I said, with my little, you know, eighteen hundred burn combo, that's a two card combo that lets you, you know, you know, pretty much give your opponent game if it's late game. So, I, I like the, I like the card. I like the card. You know, it's a quick play. Quick plays are the best cards in the game, besides counter traps. You know, I I probably have to sit down and analyze it more. I've been know. messing around with it. Then I don't know much about it. All right, so we have uh, an Altair into Vega, right? Is that what I just saw? Yeah. Because I have to, I have to make this deck. Like one. And Vega summons uh, ukulele. Yeah. One, I have Constellar, so I have to make this deck. Two, I like stars, so I have to make this deck. And three, one of my favorite common writers is is based off of those three, so I have to make the deck. <laughs> <laughs> you should, uh, you could combine them. I know, but. The thing is that I want to have a fun deck, and my friends are getting tired of dueling Constellar, so that would be, you know, counterproductive to the combine only, them. Yeah, Constellars are kind of a, a, you know, they're annoying. Exactly. But they're good. I like, yeah, they're good. I like they're just annoying, so I know. And I like Constellars too, so my friends are like, I don't want to do a deck anymore. I was like, fine, I'll get a different deck. It's fine. <laughs> Stellar Knights are probably, you know, pretty cheap to build at this point. Yeah. How much, this, is, how much, is, how much is this guy? Deneb? Yeah, only eight, like $8. only 839 yeah, eight eight thirty nine is nothing. I know, like less than ten dollars for the secret rare. Like, damn. Okay. The ghost rare. How much? Let me see the ghost rare. I'll check it out on I the price here. I think it's like here. fifteen twenty dollars. The ghost rare. The ghost rare is. Nope. The ghost rare is the is the cheap one. Really? Oh, it's damaged. Oh. <laughs> no wonder. No, it's damaged. Okay. You know, no. Uh, so the first. Near mint one is twelve ten for ghost, uh, ten dollars for secret, and eleven dollars for ultimate. Yeah, he's so not ten the... for secret, eleven for ultimate, twelve for ghost. That's like nothing. Yeah, he's not the pricey fucker. The pricey fucker is the Neb. Well, I guess yeah, the Neb is harder to pull. Like look at look at that price. Yeah, thirty bucks. Like, why? It'll go down. It'll go down. Dante's 30 bucks. Oh, too. there it is. There's the card. 
that are guard highly. That, really? Yeah. That's oh right my there. gosh! <laughs> I did not actually expect them to play that. Let's let's see what, let's see if you're right about the effect. When a warrior type monster you control is targeted for an attack or by an opponent's monster, ooh, or by an opponent's monster effect, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, target a face up monster your opponent controls. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack. And if you do return to the hand, alright, so that's the end of the door, actually. We just missed the end of the duel. No, I mean, he popped the card and he, all he had to do was just attack, right? Yeah, with uh, Deltaro's effect. Yeah. Alright, this was pretty cool. Delta equipped with, um, uh, what's his face? I forgot his Rhapsody. name. Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Alright, this was pretty cool. Yeah. It was interesting as a mirror match can be. Yeah. And it was pretty long, so, uh, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> So, uh, I guess I'll combine it with the other videos. So this will be like a half an hour long the end of commentary. Damn. I didn't know nice. the duel was going to be this long. All right, so <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of DM Duel Commentary. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with some more DM Duel Commentary. Uh, I guess Slate will be joining me. You sure. got Jeremy? Okay. All right. So, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.